kelp forests are some of the most beautiful ecosystems on the planet. Diving in a healthy kelp forest is something like a uh, dream. I always like to compare it to a redwood tree forest. You're literally like swimming or flying through the forest, surrounded by you know fish and you know rays of light coming through. It's, it's truly like a, a magical experience. So ReefCheck has a, a long-term monitoring program along the west coast of North America. So since 2006, we've been surveying these rocky reef kelp forest ecosystems, kind of measuring the health of the ocean in these like you know really robust, diverse areas. So the Big Sur uh, coastline, I guess, is the one of the most beautiful and abundant kelp forests across California. Kelp is kind of an amazing plant. It builds an entire ecosystem, not unlike a forest on land that a lot of other uh, animals and organisms depend upon. Kelp forests are an incredibly important part of the ocean. They are habitat for thousands and thousands of species around the planet. And in particular, they're being hard hit by things like climate change and biodiversity loss. Um, so making sure that we capture those changes as things get worse and worse into the future establishes a baseline for what normal is. What we've been seeing in the past five or six years is a lot of these areas disappearing and these rich, lush kelp forest ecosystems uh, transitioning to what we call urchin barrens. Um, urchins are an herbivore and they just devour the kelp and we get areas that are just at this point, just nothing, you know, little more than rock and, and, and urchins. Since 2013, 2014, we had a perfect storm of events um, where we had warmer waters, which is not good for kelps. We had El Nino, which is also another problem with nutrient availability and warmer seas. We also had um, this huge sea star wasting disease which wiped out a lot of the sea stars, including sunflower star, which is the main predator of uh, sea urchins. All those events happening basically at the same time. We have an overpopulation of a native predator, which is purple sea urchins. Like they're supposed to be on a reef, but they're in populations so dense that they're basically eating all the kelp and the kelp can't recover fast enough. So ReefCheck has teams of volunteer citizen science divers all up and down the state uh, who are going out and you know measuring the health of these ecosystems and providing scientists and marine managers with the important information they need um, to make the correct decisions on how to scientifically manage these areas. And we use these volunteers that are trained in elaborate data collection methods to uh, gather information about the health of the reefs all across the coastline. Uh, Denver algae three. Denver algae four. Uh, that data is used by the state to uh, manage these ecosystems and their natural resources, um, to uh, enact policy changes as necessary and adapt to climate change. I think it's really important to have a team of citizen science volunteers and a community of people who are trying to care for their coasts. Um, we are also involved in several restoration efforts throughout the state where we're taking areas that have become barrens and you know removing their urchins to see if we can foster growth of, of kelp forest and a transition back to a lush healthy kelp forest ecosystem. The, 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 the climate is changing and we are seeing the effects of those changes and we don't always know how to how to mitigate and I think what we're really trying to do now is learn how and learn how to like protect these ecosystems make them more resistant and resilient for the future changes which you know are going to occur.